Hi, it's Mike from The Throttle Stop. We got a great car for you guys today. Especially you Pontiac and muscle car guys, you're gonna love this one. Follow me and we'll go check it out. After passing all those amazing cars, which car do I gravitate towards? Of course, being Pontiac Mike, this beautiful 1970 Pontiac Trans Am Ram Air 3 four speed with only 25,000 original miles. Now that we have the car on the turntable, let me tell you a couple other things about this beautiful 1970 TA. A couple things you see is, of course, the Trans Am callout on the side, the fender extractor. Everybody loves the shaker hood. Uh, literally, as you sit there at idle, at the stoplight, and the guy in the Camaro next to you is looking over at your beautiful car, um, he sees that thing rumbling and shaking. When you go to beat him at the light, you nail the throttle, that Ram Air door flap opens up, sucks in cold air, and uh, that Camaro is history. Under the shaker hood of our 1970 Trans Am is the factory correct WS coated Ram Air 3 400. 366 horsepower, great engine. One of the things that Pontiac, I think, messed up a little bit, not too many people talk about, is in 1970, GM lifted their ban on cubic inches. So what that meant was that in 1969, if you had a Chevelle, a 442, a Buick Grand Sport, a GTO, 400 cubic inches was the most you could put into those cars. Um, and then in 1970, they lifted that. So you could get a 454 Chevelle, uh, 455 GTO. But in this, the top engine is 400 cubic inches. So it really, I think that Pontiac should have developed a 455 with the round port heads for 1970. Uh, of course, they came out with that in 1971. It's called a 455 HO. Uh, and those will actually have a little call out letter right on that shaker scoop. But in 1970, the, the top motor you could get was a round port 400 cubic inch motor. Again, this is a D port. Ram Air 3, but a little side note for, for you guys that, that I think Pontiac maybe messed up a little bit, and even though they do call me Pontiac Mike around here. So from this view, a couple things to kind of point out for you guys. That stripe, of course, carries over the roof and into the rear deck lid, as well as the spoiler. Now, when I talked about the 1970 Formula green car that we have as a resto mod, that one has no rear spoiler. All the 70 Trans Ams do carry the spoiler. Um, something that's really specific to these cars uh, are the Rally 2 wheels. 1970, they should have a code JW by the valve stem. What they did was they took a 14-inch Rally 2 insert and put that on a 15-inch Rally 2 wheel. So this area right here is a little wider than a rally two wheel from a later car uh, so the jw is, is 1970 then there was kn and kr for a couple more years where they did that but really neat process 
Uh, of course, this car has all four JW wheels. Again, going back to its originality. All right, so now that we're inside the car, a couple things to point out for you guys. On the Trans Ams, they have the turned uh, aluminum dash. That's always a neat thing on the Trans Ams. The early Trans Ams with the formula wheel have a thicker diameter foam. So it's, uh, again, a little thicker, but a little bit more comfort when you're holding it. Uh, this is a four speed, no console in this car. One of the things that's really neat on the 1970 only is the headrests. The headrests are these little square, little headrests for uh, driving next to a guy in the, on the road and you see that little headrest, you know it's a 1970, not a 71, 72, 1970. All right, so now onto the bottom of our car. Uh, a couple things of note, uh, the Trans Am rear sway bar, the 12 bolt posi rear end, of course, you can see all the red oxide primer under the car yet, which is a cool feature. The original 1970 Muncie four speed, as well as the original Raymer three 400 engine. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out our 1970 Trans Am. It was a pleasure to show it to you guys. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to us on YouTube. Again, I'm Pontiac Mike, and we are Throttle Stop, driven by passion.